click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida hello friends we are required to prepare now one trend balance sheet where some details are not given in the question in such case how to complete that missing information and preparing the statement that we will be understanding now let us go through the question from the following information prepare vertical balance sheet for financial analysis and trend analysis of mahad products limited for all 3 years share capital it will be part of shareholders fund reserves and surplus part of shareholders fund secured loan borrowed fund current liabilities fixed assets investments long term so it will be under separate heading will be showing investments stock and debtors current assets bank balance current asset 31st march 2012 13 and 14 here you can see that for 31st march 2012 actual amounts are given for 2014 actual amounts are given but in case of 2013 they have given trend amounts that is percentage amounts are given so we are required to find out actual amounts for 31st march 2013 and percentage amount for 31st march 2012 and 31st march 2014 first part will be sources of funds they will have shareholders fund share capital in shareholders fund first item is share capital we have figures of 31st march 2012 50000 31st march 2014 70000 here we don't have actual figure for 31st march 2013 but we have trend percentage for that particular year 20 so shareholders fund we have a plus b 60000 and 90000 borrowed fund secured loan 10,000 total capital employed 60 plus 10 70,000 90 plus 10 here it is 1 lakh next we have application of funds then we have first fixed assets fixed assets 
50,000. Next, we have investments, long-term investments. Long-term investments, 10,000, 20,000. Next, we have working capital. Current assets, stock and debtors, bank balance. Total current assets, 30,000, 50,000. Less current liabilities. In current liabilities, we have 10,000. Year 10,000. Year 20,000. And here we have 150. We can calculate working capital, current asset minus current liabilities. Twenty thousand here it is thirty thousand. We can calculate now total assets. Fixed assets plus investments plus working capital. Thus we have calculated total assets also. Now let us proceed for completing trend part of the statement. Here base year is 31st March 2012 dated. So all the values corresponding to this in our trend part will be taking it as what 100. For the year 31st March 2014, we have absolute amounts. We can complete this last column. Here, how to use the formula values in current year, that is 31st March 2014, divided by value in base year, that is 31st March 2012, multiplied by 100. For example, 70,000 divided by 50,000, 
मल्टीप्लाइड बाय हंड्रेड सो इट इज हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टी शेयर कैपिटल रिजर्व एंड सरप्लस ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड डिवाइडेड बाय टेन थाउजेंड मल्टीप्लाइड बाय हंड्रेड टू हंड्रेड परसेंट शेयर होल्डर्स फंड नाइंटी थाउजेंड डिवाइडेड बाय सिक्सटी थाउजेंड मल्टीप्लाइड बाय हंड्रेड It is one fifty. Secured loan. It is ten thousand, and here also it is ten thousand. So it will be here hundred. Total capital employed one lakh divided by seventy thousand multiplied by hundred. Hundred and forty-two point eight six, or it can be rounded off to hundred and forty-three. Fixed assets, fifty thousand divided by forty thousand multiplied by hundred. One twenty-five percent. Investments, two hundred. Stock and debtors. Thirty-five thousand divided by twenty-five thousand multiplied by hundred is hundred and forty. Bank balance fifteen thousand divided by five thousand multiplied by hundred three hundred. Total current assets. One sixty six point six seven percent. Current liabilities twenty thousand divided by ten thousand multiplied by hundred. Two hundred percent. Net working capital thirty thousand divided by twenty thousand multiplied by hundred. Hundred and fifty. Total assets. One lakh divided by seventy thousand multiplied by hundred, hundred and forty-two point eight six. This can be rounded off to hundred and forty-three. So we have calculated possible values of trend percentage for the year thirty-first March two thousand fourteen. In case of thirty-first March two thousand thirteen. we have trend values and we are required to calculate absolute amount how to do that in case of share capital we have trend value 120 but we don't have the value in absolute amount how to calculate it it's very simple we have base year amount 50000 to this we should multiply by 120 that is percent 120% so Share capital fifty thousand multiplied by one twenty percent, so it comes sixty thousand. Reserves and surplus ten thousand multiplied by one fifty. This is given one fifty percent, so it is fifteen thousand. We can take total of this. It is seventy five thousand. Now we can calculate here trend value seventy five thousand divided by sixty thousand multiplied by hundred. It is hundred and fifty. Here secured loan we have ten thousand. Here they have said hundred percent. It means for the year two thousand. Thirty-first March two thousand thirteen, it is ten thousand only. We can add now shareholders fund and borrowed fund. That is seventy-five thousand plus ten thousand, eighty-five thousand. 
to get value over here 85,000 divided by 70,000 multiplied by 100. It is 121.42. Fixed assets basic 40,000 amount in base year. Here they have given 110. So 40,000 multiplied by 110 percent. It is 44,000. Investments 10,000. Here they have said 160. Ten thousand multiplied by one sixty per cent sixteen thousand stock and debtors here it is given one twenty basic twenty five thousand twenty five thousand multiplied by one twenty per cent is 30,000. Bank balance here they have said 200. Base figure is 5,000. So 5,000 multiplied by 200 percent. It is 10,000. Total current assets 30 plus 10 40,000. 40,000 divided by 30,000 multiplied by 100. It is 133.33 percent. Your current liability is given 150. So we need to calculate 10,000 multiplied by 150 percent. 15,000. We can calculate net working capital. Net working capital 25,000. We can calculate now total assets. It is 85,000. Net working capital 25,000 divided by 20,000 multiplied by 100. It comes to 125. Total assets 85,000 divided by 70,000 multiplied by 100. One twenty one point four three percent. In this question, we learn how to calculate missing information based on given information. Thanks for watching this video. Stay in tune with Ikeda and subscribe to our channel Ikeda. Thank you.